Welcome back guys, this is the LAC TV unit from IKEA. Today we'll be taking a look at all the good features and all the drawbacks, so if you're interested in purchasing this TV unit, you know what you're getting yourself into. If you shop at IKEA for furniture, click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of our furniture review videos. To start, our television is 49 inches. When you center this TV, you get about 8 inches of free space on each side. So if your TV is bigger, it can still work well with the TV unit. To give you a better idea, the measurements of the space on top is 58 and 3 quarter inches in length and 21 and 3 quarter inches in width. You get a decent amount of storage underneath as you can basically stack three medium sized books on top of each other. Lengthwise, you'll have enough space to fit any electronics pertaining to your TV and sound system. Also, this TV unit comes with these steel tubes that can be placed anywhere under the storage compartment. They add some character and support to the overall structure. One minor inconvenience I found with the storage was the opening in the back. Usually, TV benches come with some sort of hole or mechanism that you can run wires through, but in this case, you'll have to buy zip ties or a wire encasing tube so the wires don't get tangled. Or, you don't have to, and can let your wires loose. It's up to you. There's also an attachment on the back of the TV unit, so you can secure it to the wall. IKEA doesn't provide you with a screw though, as you're going to have to buy it yourself. Another thing that I noticed was that this TV bench sits pretty low. The height is about 14 inches, so you tend to be looking slightly down when watching TV. It's way better than looking up, but when you're looking for a TV unit, you generally want your TV to be at eye level. This will reduce the strain in your neck if you're a person that watches for hours on end. The only problem with this TV unit that bothered me a bit was that it showed marks pretty easily. If you're trying to get something from the storage area or on top of the TV unit and you graze your hand on it, the marks show right away. You have to be careful or you'll always have to be cleaning it. That said, it only goes for $69.99 in Canada and $59.99 in America. The price is pretty appealing, but there are drawbacks that come with it. I would spend a bit more and get a TV unit that comes with drawers or different material that doesn't show marks. The whole assembly took about 30 minutes to complete and I had no problems with reading the instructions. If you're interested and transporting the box yourself, the dimensions are 59 inches in length, 28 inches in width, and 4 and a quarter inches tall. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.